Teachers of Reddit, what's the weirdest thing a student answered to tell me a fun fact about yourself? Awesome dad clogged the toilet this morning and that's why I'm feeling frustrated minus 5 year old child. I will say the question was how are you doing this morning? But I could barely keep from laughing out loud. A guy in my class introduced himself by telling us how he decided he wanted to study philosophy because one day he was really high peeing in the street and he saw a couple of people working and he wondered what they were doing. So he realized his passion was wondering. He dropped out like 2 months later. I am not a teacher but this guy in my class named Shane has this medical condition that causes him to grow tons of hair at an early age. Full beard in middle school. He would say I'm Shane and I'm very hairy. A student once told my wife that her daddy had a special device that he had to blow into to start his truck. In my psychology class, we were talking about the early signs of serial killers and the quietest girl who never spoke told the story of when she lived in Chicago. She had a friend around 5th grade who would always stomp on baby birds and once put his hamster in the microwave. Well his parents were having difficulty keeping up with his antics so they sent him to his grandmother's. Who he promptly stabbed to death when she woke him up for school. So that was. Interesting. Had students, age 11, sharing strategies for dealing with difficult emotions. One at a time in a big circle. One girl talked about digging her nails into her face whenever she was feeling stressed or anxious. And I had to explain to the class why self-harm was not a good coping strategy. We did one of those two truths one lie bits. Girl stands up and says, I've never been out of the country. I'm a twin. I love playing sports. I knew this girl beforehand and knew she didn't have a twin. So pick that one. Nope. She had a conjoined twin that died in utero and had to be surgically removed and she's now missing the last vertebrae on her spine. Showed us the scar and everything. Apparently the lie was the first one as she'd been to Mexico. Not a teacher. But I was a helper in a middle school classroom. A young girl, who seemed uninterested, said, with no hesitation, that she can chug an entire bottle of beer. She got expelled later that year for keeping drugs in her locker. Student told me that there is a chapter dedicated to him in a dental surgery textbook because of a very rare disorder that he had as a child. I may still have that essay. I've had my hand up a sheep's bum shock me slightly. Child of a farming family, helping with lambing season. That he has been to juvie multiple times and is currently on probation. Then he pulled up his pants enough that everyone could see his ankle monitor. That was... something. During French class, a guy in my class said that he liked stabbing children. He meant that he fences but didn't know the exact translation for that. When I was in my first year at university my law and society professor made each student get up, say his her name and tell why they picked law school. Well, a guy got up, said his name and the professor interrupted him by asking Anon, are you related to X? The guy yes professor, he is my grandfather then the professor got excited and started talking about what great of a guy X is and that he haven't heard of him in years. Then the professor asked how he was, Anon replied he is dead sir. The whole class was trying to hold the laughter. It pretty much broke the class that first day. My friend is really quiet. He doesn't really talk unless talked to. He's really cool though and has some things he enjoys doing. Literally second year I knew him the teacher asked this and he said he's a professional bowler with a 300 best. And I was like why haven't you told Emmy this that's amazing? I guess it just never came up. Haha. <laughs> knew him for a whole year and never knew that. Okay so I had psychology back in the spring semester before covid hit and I sat next to a girl who I was good friends with from high school. Professor asks her for a fun fact and she said I like to watch people get cut open. She obviously said it for effect. But she cleared it up by saying she liked watching videos of people getting plastic surgery because it's satisfying to watch. I teach ESL and every lesson we start the class by sharing something good that happened to us over the last week or so. Needless to say, kids share the most random things ever. I have many weird stories because of that. We enforce a rule that they need to share good things so they don't start one-upping each other over whose grandma had the worst death lol. One day, a student said, I was riding my bike over the weekend when I fell. 
I could see where it was going but didn't have enough time to enforce the rule when he just spat out. I fell over a wired fence and cut my neck. It just kept gushing blood. A lot of blood. I reminded him that we were only sharing good news when he said, it's good because I'm still alive. I had a good laugh and agreed but the damage was done. Every kid after him wanted to share about the most horrific injury they had or witnessed. In the context of having students introduce themselves one by one to a new boy in a small high school class, a girl said her parents got her a nose job and a boob job. Even though I'm a professor, nothing that's ever been revealed by this question has ever been as awkward or uncomfortable as an occasion that happened when I was still a student. This was when I was in my MFA program for creative writing. If you've never been in an arts program before it probably won't surprise you to learn that they can attract some weird personalities. It was the first day of a fiction workshop and the professor decided that he wanted us to all share something interesting about ourselves and for some reason one girl, Ashley decided that this would be a good opportunity for her to tell us about her long history of drug abuse and the equally long period of mental psychosis she went through as a result of it. She didn't do this as a quick answer either but as a long drawn out list of every single drug she had ever experimented with followed by a catalogue of every single delusion she suffered as a result. The only one I can remember now is that at one point she became convinced she was a millionaire and her family was hiding her money from her. All of this was delivered in a monotone monologue with her eyes glazed over that lasted at least 5 minutes, which was met at the end with a long, awkward silence before the professor said well that was definitely something interesting and moved on to the next person. I have two thumbs on this hand. I am raising cockroaches in my closet to sell to the reptile shop. Edit to say, thanks for the silver. I want to clarify that these quotes come from different kids. But it's definitely more entertaining to imagine than being the same. Also I learned so much about cockroach raising from the comments. I wish I had asked more follow up questions at the time. Someone in a class once told everyone about how his grandparents were arrested for keep a bunch of adopted children in cages. He said that he used to play with the kids when he was young. But he was too young to understand that the conditions they were in weren't normal. They kept kids in cages and locked in rooms for years before they were discovered and arrested. Yup. Fun fact. Edit. I'm not a teacher. This person who told the story was in a class with me as a young adult. I was an ESL teacher in Indonesia and a student once told me every morning she cleaned the it on her bed. I asked her to clarify. Worried she had a serious digestive issue. She answered. I brush my teeth. Wash face and clean bed it. Bed sheet. I teach middle school. This one still takes the cake. That is mom and dad have the same parents. I asked him to clarify because I didn't understand what he was saying and he said I only have one set of grandparents. They had the same parents I quickly moved to the next student so no one else would realize that this kid just told the class that his parents were siblings. I talked to him about it the next day in private and he said that he got it mixed up. His parents don't have the exact same parents. They shared a dad. I felt so much better when the mom called me to let me know her elderly stepfather married her husband's elderly mother. Still weird. But much better. I know a lot about medieval torture equipment. I'm a teacher from the UK. Form tutor to a year 7 class. 11 year olds. To get to know each other on the first day I had them take it in turns to say their name. Which primary school they've come from and an interesting fact. Like favorite food or color, we get to the last kid in the class. His fact is that he has six fingers on one hand. Coolest kid ever. It wasn't weird, but actually cute and funny. I was teaching fifth grade and this kid, white as paper, goes my name is, but you can call me Lebron. He had an obsession with Lebron jeans and I did in fact call him Lebron whenever I wanted to get his attention. Great kid. Not me but my brother. He told the teacher last night my family ate beaver for dinner. I was much older and had left home by then. The class laughed. The teacher accused him of lying. The principal was brought into this and my mother had to go in for a meeting. She chewed them up one side and down the other because we had a cousin who was a trapper and he had sent a batch of beaver thighs for the family to enjoy. Although my brother was telling the truth. He told me later that he did say that for the effect, disrupting the class. Kid in my kindergarten class said, my pee pee fell off at Disneyland. 
I didn't ask any follow up questions. I don't ask for a fun fact, but on the first day I always ask, what's your most recent obsession? Low stakes, building affinity networks, etc, etc. In my first semester, a student said air, as in oxygen. Not a teacher, but on the first day of 9th grade we had to form a circle and say one thing about ourselves that we thought was unique. When it was this dude's turn, let's call him Mike. Mike stands up and says in a really serious tone goes my mom and dad grow weed. His house got raided the next day and his dad got arrested smh. My arm is duck ed y'all in the deepest southern drawl and proceeded to wildly swing his ducked up arm around. He was 12. Had herbs palsy and also got detention that day. He might be one of my fav students. Opposite side of the classroom. But on day 1 of the class our professor spent most of the time talking about himself, his mental health, and how he was friendly with students. While he didn't say anything specifically creepy, the more he talked, the more put off I was. It just seemed deeper than a get to know you as the first time I'm meeting you speech should have gone. It was an intro to research class and I already had research experience so I got permission to waive it and I dropped the class. Later learned he killed his previous TA girlfriend before killing himself. During an introductory activity for my new class, a boy, age 9, got up and said my dog has to wear a cone on its head because dad had his bollocks cut off. Not a teacher but the daughter of one. My dad had a student tell him during the fun fact question in detail about how his goldfishes died that morning and how he experimented on their corpses. He had pictures on his phone of the skin off and the intact skeleton next to it. He is a successful taxidermist now so silver linings I guess. A student, not a teacher, but once we were going around a circle during percussion camp in the front ensemble and my teacher goes hello everyone. My name is and I have it my pants as an adult. Definitely one of the weirder ones I've heard. One guy, I love rape. Sometimes I rape. Sometimes me and my friends like to get together and listen to rape. Some of my favorite rapers include Tupac, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Biggie. My favorite abuse song is. English was not his first language. He had us in the first half. Not gonna lie. Edited to add a continuation and make it clear everyone figured out what he meant once he started listed the famous rapers. Not a teacher. But a few years ago on the first day of school this kid in one of my classes casually answered. I have a restraining order on my dad. You will think less of me if you google me. I'm a student but a kid in my class said that he loves chicken nuggets and sat down and didn't say anything to anyone else for a month. I have so much admiration yet confusion for him. I was in one of the first small required classes for my teaching degree and everyone in the class was studying to teach. It was day 2 or 3 and we were doing a get to know you activity where we share something about ourself. I don't remember the exact question but it had something to do with what you regret take back. A guy came in late, when almost everyone has answers the question, and the professor asked him the questions and he thought for a moment and said I regret letting my friend talking me into dropping acid. The class was silent for a good 20 seconds until the professor said maybe next time we only share things that are legal. I haven't seen him in any other teacher classes since. Still laugh about it to this day. I remember one kid used it as an opportunity to explain that he believed in the flying spaghetti monster. Not me, and not a fun fact, but teacher student story related. A close friend was doing an activity where the teacher had everyone anonymously write down some traumatic event or something that happened to them. My friend couldn't think of one, so he made one up. Little did he know the teacher randomly selected some to read out loud in front of the class, and his was chosen. He had written when I was 9 I was forced to abuse my neighbor's cat the class went dead silent. The teacher was speechless. My friend nearly had an aneurysm trying to hold in the laughter. I had a student tell me that sometimes his dad got drunk and asked his mom for things. As I was starting to tell him he didn't need to elaborate any further. He continued with like soup and he yells it like osasuu up it took every bit of restraint to not laugh. It's been years and years since that happened but I still laugh when I think about it. Not a teacher, 
But first day of high school when we did introductions one of the popular girls said hi I'm Maisie, and I'm trash. Wait no, I'm fan trash. And then proceeded to explain that she read smutty fanfics to every and any of the teacher that asked what fan trash is. We were 11. British high school. Follow up question. Teachers that put everyone on the spot like that. The duck? That when he wiped in the bathroom this morning. There was blood on the toilet paper. Lol. Not a teacher but I just did a first aid course. During introductions. Say your name and one fact about yourself. Dude says proudly he once had over 300k of you and paid parking tickets. Not a teacher but this happened when I was 17 at school camp during a bonding exercise. Teacher, tell us two truths and one lie about yourself and we have to guess the lie. Weird kid. I play PlayStation. I like Doritos and I am an alcoholic. The teacher, the lie is you are an alcoholic. Weird kid. Got you. I play Xbox. My god the look on the teacher's face. I found my dad who hung himself. A fifth grader. I said my dad steal cars. It was something my parents always told us growing up as a joke. The teacher just laughed and said that's nice. First day of intro to lit during my freshman year of college. When asked an interesting fact about myself. I said I refuse to bungee jump. Slightly confused. My professor took the bait. My professor replied that sort of random. Why do you refuse to bungee jump? Is it a certain fear? To which my reply was to be honest with ya sir. Broken rubber brought me into this world. So I'm going to make damn sure one doesn't take me out of it. Luckily, the professor was a chill guy. The entire class exploded with laughter and it was a good time. In my public speaking class at a community college we had to get up and do a speech about our experience that really changed our lives or an important memory and how it made us who we are. On the first day a guy who was a veteran volunteered to go first. He proceeded to talk about the day he was captured and sexually assaulted by enemy solider and how he now goes around and helps other soldiers with the wounded warrior project. It was difficult for anybody to follow that. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. Not a teacher but my friend said masturbation is his passion. I have 17 piercings. But only 6 are readily visible. I'm not a teacher. But this may qualify. As a freshman in college. This kid named Brenton told our class his name was Brent 5 on. But the 5 is silent. He was a weird cat. I mean do you man. But it was the most awkward silence from the lecturer and professor I have ever witnessed. My first year. As an earnest and ideological teacher in a very rough and underserved area, I got all the students in a circle on the first day to talk about what we'd done that summer. I pointed to a student who'd been engaged w me before class and said, What did you do this summer that could inspire us? His answer, I did the last two months of a sentence for stealing a car. Um, I hadn't expected that. So I pointed to another student and said, Okay, that's great. Let's talk about what you did this summer. That student said, yes, I had such a good summer. I went to camp and, laughing, lem stop lying. I did the last two months of a sentence with that guy cause I stole that car w him. Along the same avenue, after an winter half term the teacher asked how was your break? My class was silent for some glorious seconds when it was my turn and I said well my granddad died and my dad got married yes in that order. My teacher asked my mum if it was true at parents evening a few days later. Sorry MR. More. I think his name was Carter he stood up and said, this is college by the way, one time I had sex with a girl in the bathroom. He was expelled. He has a TV in his bedroom. He was 17. I had a student who has an identical twin brother two years younger than him. His dad was a pro athlete who had the money to freeze an egg after splitting. His wife then carried both at separate times. My son told his 7th grade teacher that he had a Sasquatch uncle. The teacher was doubtful until my wife wrote the teacher a note scolding the teacher for not believing and backing up my son's story. In retrospect, it's likely the teacher just humored everyone while thinking my wife was a lunatic. Had an in-depth conversation with an almost 6 year old about being a secret werewolf hunter at night. Student described how they track and often makes friends with werewolves. 
also demonstrated a stunning amount of knowledge about the moon. Haha. <laughs> For folks worried about the vibrant lying. This is very typical for young students and one of their relational avenues for assessing adult reactions dart and imaginative storytelling is an important developmental trajectory. At certain points children start telling stories that they themselves know aren't true, which can be super annoying, and is also a wonderful window into a particularly complex part of cognitive development. I tried to make conversation with a 6th grade boy who didn't have any friends in my class. I asked him what music he listens to and he said mukbang soundscapes. If you don't know, mukbang is when people eat a ridiculous amount of food in one setting. I was teaching a 10th grade honors English class once and this pleasant young woman busted out the C word. See you next Tuesday. I hadn't had any trouble with her whatsoever. So I was a bit shocked. The whole class went dead silent. I told her she couldn't use that word in class and she was confused as to which word I was referring to. Finally, I said the C word. She repeated it and then admitted she didn't know there was anything wrong with it because her parents use it at home all the time. The rest of the class let her know it was bizarre that she was using it. Edit. She was not Australian. Someone said they liked licking fire toes. Taught elementary school the past few years. One kid told me he was a dragon when he was born but changed into a human as he got older. He was absolutely convinced and couldn't be persuaded. Obligatory. Not a teacher. First year college. A guy shared with the class that he hated dogs. We were veterinary students. One year later he dropped out. And three years later I dropped out too. I had a third grader who was in my gifted and talented class. This is relevant. Her classroom teacher complained to me that when she asked this question of her class, this girl answered that she likes to break things and make voodoo dolls of her enemies. Third grade. Needless to say, I told the teacher that somewhere in an 8 year old girl's bedroom is a voodoo doll of her and probably me too. One guy licked the E. coli petri dish in AP bio. It was his fun fact about me in the yearbook. My parents are cousins. I'm a trainer at a bank, and I've learned some really interesting things about my colleagues doing icebreakers. One guy used to be in a pretty successful metal band. Another can solve a Rubik's Cube in under 2 minutes. Yes, I made him prove it. One woman was a professional pianist for a while, and another can read tarot cards. I'm seriously thinking of putting on an employee talent show. I was probably one of those weird answers. I'm cats over flowers and I'm part of a sword fighting group. Don't think many teachers believed me but it was true. Not really weird but, she said her name was Ella and that she had a recording contract. I thought that was kinda cool but really didn't think much of it. Two years later she was better known to most of the world as Lord when her song Asir Oils blew up everywhere. I work with preschoolers, 3-5 age group. One day we had the kids go around and tell us one thing that made them special. Most were pretty normal. I'm really good at drawing. I have two big sisters. ETC. And then I get to this one little Jolossa super cute and sweet. Looks me dead in the eyes and goes I have been around forever. I have seen the whole world and I know everything. Dead serious. Super creepy. When I pressed her, she couldn't really find the words to explain. But kept talking about how she came from the sand and was frustrated that she couldn't say it better. I didn't used to believe in past lives, but now I'm not so sure. We did a round table introduce yourself what you like to do in your free time in college and I said I like writing poetry and the professor mocked me. So apparently that was weird thing for him for a student to say. 